Hi everybody, it's Donna here from Purple Pinky Promises and we have a cute little project here that has an inside surprise. We have a darling set of snow people here, a little snow woman and a snowman, and they are greeting each other with Valentine love. All right, so here I am getting this project started on the inside first. This was the vision I had, was the inside of the card and I am inking up this set of stencils from Lawn Fawn. These are the birch tree stencils, and I am inking them up with Skylight. All of the inks that I use in this project, um, except for the sentiment, of course, that is done with Versafine Claire, but all of the inks are Catherine Pooler inks. So I'm lining up this stencil right there in the center to give it um, that illusion that that blue space continues on. And you'll see what I mean when I'm done inking this up here in a second. Uh, it, this video will fast forward to the end. And when I pull this up, you'll see that the, the actual spot there at the right side, it, it acts as a mask and it carries on that blue space right there in the center. All right, okay, the inside background is done. And we're ready to move to the next thing in our project. So I'm gonna bring this up so we can get a little close up and see what this looks like. The next thing I do is I pick up my snow people and I ink them around the edges with twilight. Okay, the next. And those uh, snowmen or snow people <laughs> uh, are actually a lawn fawn set. Those darling little snowmen. They're build a snowman dies. And the next thing that I did was I inked up the, a banner of hearts and th that banner of hearts was from just the ticket dies. And now we're back to the, uh, the snow people set, the build the snowman set, and I'm inking up the scarf, cheeks, hearts, mittens, um, earmuffs, everything. First thing um, I inked up with, of course, is that sparkling berry. Then I go to the rouge, and I am now, oh, and those mittens over there on the left are inked up in skylight again. And now this is twilight at the top of the earmuffs. You'll see at the top right of the screen, there's two little pieces that actually cover the earmuffs. It gives it a little bit of lift and a little bit of dimension. And it also gives you the opportunity to ink up in two different colors without, without any worry, which is kind of nice. And what I just did was I took my baby wipe and I lightened up the colors. Those little ovals are going to be the little snow people cheeks. <laughs> and I have to tell you, this is a little fast forward. It wasn't on purpose. I had a lot of mishaps with this, <laughs> with this project. Um, my phone died and I didn't notice that my phone died during recording. And guess what? I didn't get the um, assembly of my snow people on video, but I think you get the gist. There is a dye that goes behind their faces to capture those little holes and make it look like they have um, a black a black piece, but it's actually die cut holes and then that black die cut piece of cardstock goes on the back side. It's perfect, it's on both of them. Okay, so what I'm doing now is exactly what I did on the left. So luckily I was able to capture this. And so I took those hearts, which actually comes out in one banner. I actually perforated it, pulled it apart so that it would fold in the center very, very nicely. And I only glued down that left heart. So on the left side, I only glued down the right heart. As you can see here, I left that far heart open so that I could place my snowman exactly where I wanted it, glue the heart over the snowman, and then everything stays in place as I want it. It also gives me the opportunity to put um, the arms and uh, hands where I want them to go. 
I can just slide them in. So now we're putting uh, this next arm and mitten over the heart to give it the illusion that he is holding this banner on his end. And there we go. So you'll see here uh, that it worked so nicely to be able to have that open space to tuck in things in behind uh, after afterwards. So because I had so many mishaps, I'm actually here in the studio this morning. <laughs> Or not the studio, but the store. I'm in the store this morning doing this voiceover. Last night, so first it was my phone that died in the middle of record, or in the middle of filming. Then my iPad died last night <laughs> while I was doing my voiceover, and I gave up and went to bed. I said, sometimes the message is loud and clear. So if it seems kind of echoey, that's why I'm here at the store doing this voiceover this morning before I open up the store. Okay, and that's why this upload is late today. All right, now we're going to tuck in these little arms and hands to give it the, oh, the, the look that they are waving at one another. I could have put them um, over the heart so that they would hold the heart with both hands, but I just thought it was a darling little thing to do to be able to tuck those in and have them wave hello to one another. All right. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go uh, behind here, behind Mr. Snowman, and I am going to glue him down. And after that, I head over to the other side and I glue her down. Getting all my pieces secure. I do leave the very tip of those mittens um, without any sort of adhesive because I kind of like to lift and give it the illusion that there's some dimension there. I only glue just a little bit there so that it doesn't fall off, but I like to give things a little bit of lift and um, yeah, lift and dimension is great. So here we go. Miss Snowman is over there on the left, or, or Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Snow Woman, <laughs> not Mrs. Snowman, but our little snow lady. She's so cute. He's so cute. I love this so much. I wanted to do a scene that was wintry because Valentine's Day is in the winter. And I just thought, how cute it would, would it be to bring Valentine's Day to this darling little set of dyes? I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what I was going to do on the front side. Uh, all I had was a vision for the inside of this card when I started this project. And uh, you'll see, of course you saw at the beginning of the video what I ended up doing. I ended up doing a little signpost to kind of give it the, um, the illusion that the um, front of the card was continuing on the inside and that they were basically in a love winter wonderland. <laughs> I did go ahead and leave in this whole process because I, I, I suppose I felt a little guilty that you didn't get to see the assembly of, the, of these little snow people. <laughs> And after this, there is one more little thing that I add to, to this card. I took the Zermatt sequin mix from Catherine Pooler and I pulled out all of the little snowflakes. Um, oh yes, we, we must not forget all of those awesome word dies. And I will tell you that those little hearts, those come from the Just the Ticket dies also the same as the banner the cutie also and the xoxo um, and the love ya all of those word dies all of those hearts come from just the ticket dies it 
It's a wonderful little set. Um, it has such versatility. I love it that the tickets in that set can be used for other occasions, not just Valentine's Day, but those tickets can be used for other things as well. There's a set of coordinating stamps that go with that set. They are called the just the ticket stamp set. And it actually has redeem for, uh, so there are sentiments in there, um, in that set that can be used for other occasions as well. So if you wanted to say um, a reward ticket, you wanted to create a, a bunch of reward tickets for your kids or something, and you wanted to write in what the reward was, it's perfect for that. Check out those stamps and dies in our store. There will be a link to everything in the description. Of course, the description for YouTube is down below, and the description for Facebook is, of course, up above. Just about done, and we'll get those sequins on, and we'll be done with the inside of our card. So, so, so cute. If you hear that faint piano in the background, we have a music lessons next door. <laughs> All right, here we go with our darling little snowflakes. They're shiny. They have, they're so beautiful. Um, they're perfect for this card. If you'll see me with that pin, so I left my, silly me, I left my uh, gem picker here at the store over the weekend and I was trying to use what glue was on that pen. I used that pen to unstop my glue bottles. And I thought there might be a little bit of glue left in it so that I could use it to pick up those sequins. But, yeah, not happening. Gonna have to rely on my fingers. But there it is, and it's complete. All right, so I took those birch tree stencils, and I did something unique. Again, at home and very limited on supply, I had to use my creativity. So what I did was I took the set of mat, Perfect Match, actually these are called the Perfect Match Box dies. I took the matches from that uh, set. There's three of them and I taped them behind these birch tree stencils to give them the illusion that they were actually cut from a birch tree. <laughs> this wood from a birch tree. And you'll see here that I actually used them because I wanted to use those sentiments in the Perfect Match stamp set. Because they stamp, there's a perfect little spot on those dies to stamp your sentiments. And so this, uh, these dies are matches, yes. <laughs> and that piece right there is just a piece of scrap, um, cardstock. It really doesn't have, a, it's not necessary to have a measurement because that's just going to be fussy cut in the end. So here we go. Um, I am going to show you what I did with the match from the Perfect Match Box die. So I took that match and I just taped it right there behind that birch tree stencil. That set of stencils is actually a set of two stencils. And it's really neat because what you can do is you can actually use one for masking. Um, you can get a couple of different, several different looks from this set. So yeah, you have, there are two sets of stencils. All right, so I'm using the other set I believe that's what I was using. Yes, I was using the other set to get that inked up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start stamping those sentiments and I use VersaFine Claire to um, get those sentiments. Oh, we gotta get our cleanup. 
<laughs> Yay. All right, let's get to stamping. And I'm showing you here where this is from. Really cool set. And I'm pulling out these stamps. Those strips of sentiments fit perfectly on those matches. So darling, so clever. I love it. And it's not limited to the sentiments that I'm using here. Uh, you're just going to see a quick stamp, 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 stamp of each one of these. And I will tell you, you need to pay attention if you want your pieces to go left and right. So here I'm put my, yeah, I'm showing you there. You pay attention to the direction you want the these to go because you're going to cut off each end and we're going to glue those arrows behind them. So you want to make sure you get those arrows uh, or those stamped up so that you can make your arrows directional. All right, fussy cutting. We're just about done. And we're going to build our sign or our post, so to speak. And just figuring out which I want in what direction. Yeah, there we go. So now this is rouge, inking those up, getting those inked up. I'm holding my breath and praying that the, uh, the the guys next door don't show up in the middle of my voiceover for construction. <laughs> We're almost there. This is kind of the point at which my iPad died last night. <laughs> so I was almost done. All right. So now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim each of these off. Right now I'm being conservative, as you can see, because I'm just not quite sure how long I need it to be. I didn't really size it up because I was waiting for those to dry off. I didn't want to get a bunch of red on my fingers because I was still working. I didn't need to have red fingers while I was interpreting. That's, yeah, no bueno. <laughs> so I do end up trimming these down more and gluing them on the arrows. And yeah, we have some noises around here. Thanks for being patient with all the background sounds. <laughs> all right. There they go. And now you just, all you need is a little glue in the center, and there you have it. And I decided I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of a, um, at a, put those on at an angle back and forth in each direction. I thought that would be cute. Leaving the space at the top for the other part of the sentiment in this card. and bottom. I do end up putting this post on dimension, but I only put the dimension down the center. If you wanted, you could actually build those, uh, build those up three or four layers deep with cardstock to give it some more, um, I guess, to prevent them from bending back uh, up and down there. So if, if that was something that made a difference to you, you could do that. All right, those hearts, those hearts come from the, I believe they come from, what set are those from? Oh, those are from the Perfect Match stamp set. They are stamped in Sparkling Berry. And that sentiment that I just cut up, the Be Mine, I just basically cut it, fussy cut it to go on the post that is stamped also in First Fine Claire. It is from Just the Ticket stamp set. And now 
we have our dimension on the back. And I did end up, and you'll see here, I'll, I'll motion to you, that I trimmed that piece, um, that card front down. I decided I, it just was a little, it needed something else. So I trimmed it down and I added, you know, I'm showing you here, I trimmed it, trimmed it down and I'll put the measurements in the description box, but I trimmed it down so that the Spellbinders postage edge rectangle dies would go on there. Both of these pieces that I put on this card front, both the postage and that darling little dotted edge come from that set. And they nest in there perfectly on top of each other. It's really nice. So that postage piece is actually, I believe it measures, I believe it's four by five and a quarter. So I just trimmed these, uh, that card front down. I um, believe it was to, what was that? Um, or maybe it's three and three quarters by five that that postage piece is. Anyway, I'll give you the measurements. I'll have it in the description. All right, card front done. Yay, we are finished. I added more of those Zermatt sequin, snowflake sequins to the front, and it is complete. I appreciate you guys stopping by to check out our project, this project today. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and week. Thanks for everything that you do to support us over here. We certainly appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.